Hello viewers, welcome to this video in which we are going to create signatures for Gmail. So now when you talk about uh, signatures, uh, there are multiple ways uh, you will be adding a signature. So I have given a simple scenario. So wherein there are two scenarios, one is internal, second is external. When I say internal, you are going to send emails internally to your colleagues or staff. So in that scenario, it's enough to have minimum number of uh, details like your name, designation, department, and mobile number. The other scenario is external email where you'll be sending it to your client or vendor or supplier, whatever it is. That is outside of your organization. In that situation, you need to add additional information like, you know, uh, the organization or the company's name, address, landline number, email, etc. So that being said, uh, the next step we'll explore and see whether we can create these signatures, multiple signatures, store it and use it as and when required, depending upon whether it's going to be internal or external. So click on settings button and click on see all settings. And when you scroll down, when you scroll down, we can see here there is a space for signature. And currently there are no signatures, so let's create a new one. And as discussed, we'll name it as uh, internal. So here we are supposed to type in the uh, signature contents. Of course, I already typed it to save time. So we'll just copy and paste it there. So having pasted this here, you can see there are a lot of uh, tools here to customize your signature, probably the name I want to it or increase the size right so i can change a uh, uh, different font i can change the size bold italic so all those settings are there so now we'll create uh, one more signature and name it as external which we want it to send it to external members so now we'll copy paste this copy paste this uh, lengthy signature So I have done this, uh, rather we have done this. So now being uh, sent to external members, uh, probably I would prefer to add an image, probably a company logo. So that is possible. So click on this icon, insert image. So you can either give a web URL or you can upload from your Google Drive or you can upload from your local hard disk, laptop or desktop or as the case may be. So click on allow so that everyone can view this. So as I told you again, you know, you can customize your uh, signature here, probably a company name and things like that. So now uh, coming down, so it says signature defaults so because we have created two signatures. So if you're a person who will be sending most of your mails to internal people, then your default signature can be internal. Other way around, if most of your mails are going to be external members, then choose external signature as a default signature. So for this demo purpose, I'll choose internal as the signature default. So having done this, now we'll save all these changes. Right, so we have created two signatures and let's see how it works. So we'll compose some mail. So to someone, we want to send it and uh, type in the subject so type in the contents so here you can see already my signature has been affixed so this is my internal signature well, let's assume that this mail uh, i'm going to send it to an external member so then i need to change this uh, signature to an external signature so how do i do that so go here click on this icon insert signature and choose external so now you can see here, this has automatically changed to an external signature with all the details and your company logo. So now we are ready to hit send button to send an email. So hope uh, this will be interesting and uh, much useful. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this uh, video to be useful, like it, comment it, share it and subscribe. Thank you once again.